Hare Krishna, please accept my humble obeisances, all glories to Shaprabhat. We will be going to send some prasadam to the old folks' home later on. This is the, I think, fourth time sending prasadam to them. Recently, the Matadis have been really busy. There's a lot of prasadam distribution going on. Today, we distributed 60 packets of jiaozi, dumplings, uh, to the workers and the people in our garden. That is following um, distributing 2,000 cookies to another, another restaurant here in Guangzhou. Now, we're going to be sending about 160 snack box. The Matajis have done cupcakes. So my wife did cupcakes. They've done some uh, fried uh, swirl. I don't know how you call those. It's a kind of savory. Uh, then we put some fruits in there also. So you will see the boxes are nice, colorful. Then tomorrow, there's uh, one Mataji that lives in Chongshan nearby. Her name is Ilavati Mataji. She found, I think it's a friend of hers or I'm not so much aware, but it's a marriage. She wants to have cupcakes for the marriage. So this is going to be more than 200 cupcakes. So in this way, uh, Prashadam distribution is increasing. So that's nice. The Mataji is always uh, engaged in making something. How to engage, how to always have some service to do. Otherwise, if we simply uh, sleep, that is not good. So I'm happy that we have more and more services and that the Matajis are more and more active. <coughs> that is very good. That brings life because you're actually helping. Prashadam distribution, book distribution, two things that help the conditioned souls. And that's really what pleases the Lord because the Lord says that whoever preaches is very, very dear to Him. Prashadam distribution is also one of the aspects of preaching because it purifies. The whole point of preaching is to get transcendental knowledge and eating prashadam helps purify the mind to be ready to get that transcendental knowledge. That's why in the beginning most people who come to the temple, we don't really try to preach to them. We simply have them have kirtan, bow down before the deity, eat Krishna prashadam and give them a chance for purification. The activities of the Krishna consciousness movement are meant not only for oneself but for others also. This is the perfection of Krishna Consciousness. One who is interested in his own salvation is not as advanced in Krishna Consciousness as one who feels compassion for others and who therefore propagates the Krishna Consciousness movement. Such an advanced devotee will never fall down, for Krishna will give him special protection. That is the sum and substance of the Krishna Consciousness movement. Everyone is like a play toy in the hands of the illusory energy and is acting as she moves him. One should come to Krishna Consciousness to release oneself and also to release others.
accustomed to perform activities. We cannot remain idle, not even for a moment, the Lord says in Bhagavad Gita. All men are forced to act helplessly according to the impulses born of the modes of material nature. Therefore, no one can refrain from doing something, not even for a moment. So our body, gross body, this physical body is always active or the mind is always active. So in this way, you're always acting within the three modes of material nature, goodness, passion, and ignorance, which means you are forced to always associate with the mode. So only when we do devotional activities can we get a break from being within the modes and thus becoming entangled, creating a new chain of fruitive reaction. Because if you act in the mode of goodness, you have to enjoy the good results. If you act in the mode of passion, you must suffer the result of the mode of passion. And if you act in the mode of ignorance, also the same thing. For one who is not renounced, the threefold fruits of action, desirable, undesirable, and mixed, accrue after death. But those who are in the renounced order of life have no such results to suffer or enjoy. Goodness also has its results, which means you must enjoy the result of the mode of goodness, so-called enjoyment, which means that you must get the body of a demigod, or being born in a pious family in this way, but you must take birth again. So as soon as we speak of taking birth, where is actually the enjoyment? From the highest planet in the material world down to the lowest, all are places of misery wherein repeated birth and death take place. But one who attains to my abode, the son of Kunti, never takes birth again. And if we don't do any service, immediately we fall back into sense gratification. And since we are used to do so many activities, Shri Prabhupada has given us many activities to do, but for the pleasure of the Lord. So the comparison is that someone who's suffering from dysentery, uh, overindulgence in milk product, the cure is the he, yogurt. Yogurt mixed with some black pepper, you know. The same thing, again, milk product, but it becomes the cure. Why is that? We have entangled ourselves in the repetition of birth and death by material activities. And again, through activities, we can be liberated. But these activities are called Karma Yoga. Karma Yoga is the beginning of Krishna Consciousness. Although it is mixed with Karma, still it is counted as devotional service. Now, what is the difference? The difference is that one in the beginning cannot give up these activities. O son of Kunti, all that you do, all that you eat, all that you offer and give away, as well as all austerities that you may perform, should be done as an offering unto me. Back in the garden, we send the prasadam. Here we are, temple. It's in one of those buildings behind me. So, as, as I was saying concerning curing the disease, the century disease called by overindulgence in milk, by using a milk product. So, the example is as such: is that because of the material activities that we're performing, we're becoming entangled, creating a chain of fruitive results, a, a, a karmic chain. So now, because we're addicted to performing activities, what we gotta do now is to perform those, those activities, but linked in Krishna consciousness. So, in one of the purport in the Bhagavad Gita, Shri Prabhupada explains that Karma Yoga means um, devotional service covered by the desire for fruitive activity. So because we are addicted to this, doing this, doing that, then all right, you be frivolous. You you run left and right doing so many things, but do these things for Krishna. A practical example of this, for example, in the morning, you know, the morning program after Mangalarti, there is a chanting session, so the Japa session. But this is what Prabhupada has uh, told us to do, is that we are all in the temple room together, the devotees, and we chant, we chant Hare Krishna. This is pure, this is not karma yoga, this is pure devotional service, uh, kirtanam, right? So shravanam, kirtanam, vishnu, all these are pure devotional activity. But for example, editing videos, uh, <laughs> making advertisements on Facebook, 
creating posters, all of this, it's in the realm of karma yoga. Because we cannot simply stand, sit there and chant for 10 hours, 20 hours. Like Haridas Thakur, he was chanting at least 16, 18 hours a day, non-stop, you know. So, we cannot do that. Therefore, we have to perform karma yoga, link our activities to please the Lord. So, another prasharam distribution successful. I guess you will see this vlog much later. I've got many videos stored that I need to edit and make vlogs out of. So I'm a bit slow for the moment. There was a lot happening. That's it. Haribo. Taka kir puli paya sana Ajaba kata vatsara shi dorani Ajaba kata vatsara shi dorani So the video which if you finish watching that vlog was actually um, it happened a few months ago before the the birth of our daughter so her name is Kalindi uh, for those of you who might not have seen previous vlogs you can take a closer look at her cute face there she is <laughs> she's a sweet little girl um, a real blessing in the sense that, of course, a Vaishnavi born in our family and also she's very easy to take care of. Um, she can sleep in loud situations, uh, she's not cranky, so um, it makes it much easier for us. And although you're not seeing my wife very often in our videos, uh, she is very much supportive without her taking good care of our children, it would not be possible for me to focus on preaching matters and making all these videos. So she is also to be praised for taking good care of our son, Krishna Sudam, and our little daughter, Kalindi. So you will be seeing her growing up, just like if you've been following us, you have seen our son grow up. Similarly, you will see the little Kalindi grow up also. So I hope that she can be a great uh, Vaishnavi and bring a lot of pleasure to the devotees. Also, if you have not bought Bhagavad Gita as it is from His Divine Grace, Sri Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, do not wait any longer. The link is in the description below. This book changed the lives of tens of thousands of persons, if not hundreds of thousands. And it will change the life of millions, if not billions of people. Ah, Bhagavad Gita. Jai. Haribo, Haribo, Krishna, ah, Krishna. So please order yours now and start reading. This is the most important affair in human birth. Also, recently you might have seen that we're starting to equip our office to be more like a studio type of environment so that we can be more effective in creating new Krishna conscious content. For the community we would like to be investing in a professional microphone uh, to make some higher end videos presentations uh, with mainly voiceovers so that means pictures videos and voiceovers only without me being in front of the camera speaking necessarily so we would like to invest in a high quality microphone since we're trying to reach a more professional grade of presentation if you would like to donate uh, you can take a look in the description below see the costs of the microphone you can also just give a portion of the cost and you can transfer into our paypal account uh, any help would be much appreciated so thank you very much for following us over the years and thank you for continuing to follow us uh, it gives us inspiration to continue to, to read all of your nice comments and uh, of course we're doing these videos for those of you who are sincerely trying to advance spiritually we hope that you're enjoying the krishna conscious content that we're trying to deliver uh, for the pleasure of Shri Prabhupada and the devotees. Krishna. 
Hmm? Yes. Ah. You can't wait to be old enough to read it, huh? Haribo. Haribo. Hare Krishna. Now I'm going to